There are many 3D printers, but this one This one is completely wireless and autonomous. Hi guys, today we are talking about Shelly 1PM and I keep on insisting that PM stands for Printer Manager. No, it doesn't, but I'm going to use it this way anyway. But don't worry if you're not into 3D printing. Why not, by the way, Ender 3 is fantastic and Ender 3 V2 even better. You can watch it yourself in this video. We're going to talk about Shelly and how to use it for exciting new and creative ideas. Because although it is a light switch, you can repurpose it for pretty much anything you like. This is not my first Shelly rodeo. I already spoken about Shelly 1 and Shelly 2.5. So it's time to talk about the brainchild, which basically what Shelly 1PM is from Shelly 1. It takes its size and the ability to switch a single relay and operate a single switch. But it is closer to Shelly 2.5 as it doesn't use its dry contact relays and it has a built-in power meter. So in fact, if I had to place Shelly 2.5 somewhere, I'd say this is probably a half of Shelly 2.5, which instead of making it Shelly 1PM, why not to make it 125? But naming conventions, jokes aside, let's take a look at my printer. I'll show you what I did, how it works, and why Shelly PM is actually quite good. And this is where it gets interesting, because thanks to Shelly 1PM I was able to achieve a couple of features you wouldn't achieve with a smart plug. Why? Alright, you got me, you could use your smart plug as an argument, tell me it's easier that way, but it doesn't change the fact that my printer is cooler than yours, alright? So your arguments don't apply in this video. But there is a reason in this insanity because of this video. Some time ago I created Android notification system for 3D printers. And apart from checking on the status and looking up the pictures directly from the notification shade, I was able to calculate the cost of the print, including the filament used and electricity used, calculated by Sonoff POW2. Now the Sonoff was bulky and it was on the outside of the enclosure and to be honest, it didn't look either safe and pretty. So I decided to change that by embedding the Shelly 1PM inside. Shelly 1PM is small enough to fit in there and thanks to support up to 16 amp and power meter calculations I was able to basically recreate the same features and still use the notification system like printer without revealing any of the modification on the outside. Apart from one. There is one more thing hidden inside my printer which is Raspberry Pi. It's been running Octoprint ever since I've started 3D printing and I've been happy with it. In fact, it was running for such a long time that uh, back then undervolting your Raspberry Pi wasn't a subject to limitations to update and installing new plugins and that's been a nightmare to deal with ever since. And that led me to another upgrade installed alongside Shelly 1PM to make sure the Raspberry Pi is properly powered. I knew they're both gonna be tied together for ultimate wiring. Inside that plastic enclosure there is a ripped apart European charger. It was useless in the UK anyway unless you come from Poland and you know hack to hack sockets with a wooden stick. Guys don't do it, don't do it, leave it to experts. So I took it apart, hardwired it and 3D printed enclosure so I could mount it on the extrusion aluminium alongside my 3D printer. 
That way I can use the USB to actually power my uh, Raspberry Pi and receive finally 5 voltage. This means my Octoprint was finally sorted and I was able to update it and install plugins at will. Now, time to move on to Shelly One. My goal here was to keep the Raspberry Pi and Octoprint constantly powered. I also wanted to toggle the printer on and off before and after print, respectively. But unlike with the son of POWR, now I can actually assign the controls to the power switch and I can decide how it's gonna act. So I've opted out to overwrite whatever I'm going to set via app. In order to achieve this, I had to strip down the plastic cover of the power supply and rewire it according to this schematic. Now bear in mind guys, if you're going to attempt this, take extra care. Make sure you double check everything because you're dealing with mains electricity. I do not hold any responsibility if you mess up something or destroy your printer in the process. Once I was happy with wiring and I've double checked everything, I simply fitted the Shelly 1 PM inside the plastic enclosure, double checked again all the wires and Finally, I was able to connect to my printer or turn it on and off using Shelly app. But while I appreciate the Shelly cloud for what it does and what options it gives me, it wasn't really how I'm going to use this. I promptly went to web interface and switched it into MQTT mode because Octopi supports MQTT and that way I was able to integrate the Shelly 1PM back to my notification system I've created earlier. As you can see, everything is working great and this modification should be particularly useful to anyone thinking about running a 3D printing business because after all power calculations should be part of your price for the printout. I know that some of you are still thinking that's uh, a lot of hassle just to get that printer on and off. But in all fairness, if you want to use a smart plug, go ahead and do that. I just wanted to show you an innovative and creative way of using Shelly One. PM because after all it probably was designed to toggle the lights but it shouldn't really stop you from using it elsewhere. I'd like to thank Shelly for sending me Shelly 1PM so I could do something cool with it and if you're interested you'll find a link uh, for the Shelly and more instructions about what I've done with my 3D printer linked in the description of this video. As for now guys if you're interested in the content I make why don't you follow me on social media and you'll find updates and all my runs about random subjects. So if that interests you, then follow me on social media. If not, use YouTube features to make sure you always get updated. As for now, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm definitely going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.